welcome to this video from the RC Ground School. Joining a model airplane club and flying at a club field is the easiest and least complicated way and place to fly. Here's why. Club fields have runways and other facilities. The runway may be grass, fabric, rolled crushed rock, or even asphalt. Having a runway provides the fundamental airport structure that allows for regular operations. Club fields also have support structures such as shade structures, assembly tables, bathroom facilities, and other creature comforts that make spending time there more enjoyable. Club fields will also have safety procedures and setbacks. Pilot stations and safety or deadlines help ensure aircraft operations remain orderly and safe. A very important advantage in this era of increasing regulation is that club fields have been identified to the FAA as flying sites, so individual permission to fly is not required. Last on this partial list is that clubs have other members available to help you learn to fly, set up your airplane, and help you solve problems that you might encounter along the way. Another popular alternative is to fly in a city or county park. Unfortunately, many cities have park rules that prohibit flying model airplanes. With the growth of quadcopter flying and smaller, lightweight foam model airplanes, many cities have set aside areas within large parks for flying smaller model airplanes. It's a good idea to access the park regulations online or visit with a park administrator and get a copy of the applicable rules. I'd keep a copy with you in case another park user or law enforcement officer questions your right to fly there. Unless the park area is also a model club field, you'll still need to use the smartphone app to seek approval if you're located under controlled airspace. So, how about school fields or other semi-private spaces? School fields, soccer club facilities, and other unused open spaces may be spaces where you can fly. In all cases, it's important to know who the owner is or the manager is of that space. It's important to ask permission to use this space before flying as opposed to after the owner has called the police. If you're an AMA member, you'll want to show the owner that you have liability insurance and have the ability to pay for any damage you might cause, as unlikely as that might be. Again, Getting written permission is a good idea in case you're challenged. Again, you might also need your app-based permission from the FAA. Unfortunately, it seems like the bigger the city, the more trouble folks have obtaining permission to fly. Where I live, the local school district keeps playgrounds locked when not in use by the school. Last. In rural areas, you or a friend may already own the land over which you want to fly. In that case, the permission part is easy. Again, remember, you may still need FAA permission through the smartphone app. Having an idea of where you plan to fly is a big part of your decision on what plane to buy. If you plan to fly at a club, your choices are wide open. On the other hand, Flying in a small corner of a city park may demand a smaller plane. Airplane size and power is directly related to how much space you'll need to safely operate your model. Fortunately, there are many fun small model airplanes you can choose from if space is an issue. As we close this video out, if you found it helpful, please click on the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the rcplaneviews.com channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching.